So since a lot of you guys wanted me to do a setup tour, uh, I'll be doing one. So, here's my setup. Um, yeah. Alright, so starting from the left here, we have my iMac slash storage server. This is the maxed out late 2013 iMac. It has an i7-70, basically the 7700K, but like it's the 7701 because they're Apple and they're cool. Uh, it has 24 gigs of DDR3, 20, no, it's 1600 megahertz. And right now this is just on my YouTube stream thing, like the, the live dashboard. That That's cool. Uh, moving down here, we have my laptop, which, by the way, this cable management here, this is just godly. This runs back behind here to my monitor stand, and then over there and down into the other things. Here's the storage, here's the storage part, uh, which I, so this is the five terabyte, and that's the three terabyte drive. It has, this computer has a three terabyte drive in it already. So I put that together, I have 11 terabytes of storage. Now this is my laptop that I use every day at school pretty much. Um, it is just like the maxed out retina from 2016, right? Yeah, maxed out retina, it just has my sub count now. But what it's also running is if you see here, this goes through the whole system to here, which the cable is just kind of like behind my monitor, just goes there. And this is running my um, stream in full screen. So anytime that I stream, I'll see it here in 1080 as it would appear to others. It's not that big, but like if there's like errors going on or whatever, I'll know what's going on. Moving on to the main part here, this is my monitors running Haven. This monitor here, the center one, is 144 hertz, one millisecond response, 1080p. The top one is 60 hertz, 1080p, just like a random TV. Now these are running Haven, a graphical benchmark software, which I just honestly think looks really cool, which is why it's running it right now. Now if we turn over to the right, you see this thing here. This is, I got this for like 170. It's 140, it's 1440p, 60 hertz, runs DVI-D, dual link. But you know what, it's not the greatest thing, but because they had to buy a $100 adapter originally, but it's okay. Because for $300, 1440p, 60 hertz, with this kind of color, looks really good. The response time on it is pretty good. Uh, this is running Universe Sandbox, just like simulating our solar system. I'd really recommend getting this game. It's like $20, and... I, I've had more than $20 out of it, I'd say. It's really fun, you can like destroy planets, you can do whatever you want. It's just kinda calculating the solar system right now. On the keyboard, mouse, and trackpad, I have the Black Widow Chroma Stealth, which, I mean, I bought it, it has stealth in it. It's gonna be quiet, right? Nope, this is so fucking loud. Like, I, I don't understand Razer, how? Oh god, oh god, I just exploded the solar system. Uh, well, everything just fell into the sun. Great. So the mouse, I have the Razer Death Adder Chroma, and then this thing is just like, it's from a company called the Aluba, and like, I don't know, it just looked cool when I got it for free with my mouse. So, yay! Not, not, not this mouse, the old, really shitty RGB $20 plastic mouse from Amazon. That mouse. A lot of you can't just came for this part, so here it is. This is the GTX 1080 Founders Edition, and the 6700K overclocked to 4.8 GHz, and that is cooled by the Corsair H100i. Just the V1, not the V2. It's a 240mm thing, whatever. Uh, I have 32 gigs of Crucial Ballistic Sport memory, 2400 MHz. Uh, I don't run an XMP, so it runs at 2133. Now here, the, you can't see it because it's a black drive, but there's a 500 gig uh, SATA SSD in there, and then my 3 terabyte normal drive. Uh, this is a beast of a machine. Uh, it, it, it gets about 2500 FPS in the high pixel limbo test. Basically, you just set your, your settings to minimal, as low as they'll go, and then you just see how many FPS you get in F3. I get like 2500. Not to mention the motherboard is the Asus and Maximus Hero 7. And the power supply is some randy, like, platinum edition 750 watt power supply that I paid way more than I should because I don't need that much wattage. 
All right, so my chair is just kind of some random chair from Staples. Uh, I liked it and I ordered it. It was like not simple because I needed a new chair. My other one broke. All right, so first, these are my gunnards. Uh, if you guys like are at computers a lot and do what I do and you have a shit ton of monitors, you don't actually need that many fucking monitors. Like I have five plugged in. Actually, that's a lie, I have six. I have six. Oh god, the solar system's getting destroyed even more. I can like watch Mars fall in. It's gonna get like, there it goes. And it's gonna fly back out. But these things, like you wear them, they're kind of yellow tinted, as you can see, and that just like filters out a lot of the light and makes it strain your eyes way less. Now, my headset is the Kingston HyperX Cloud 10, I think. This just sounds amazing. I really like it. This is my pop filter on my Blue Yeti, not Blue Yeti, Blue Snowball Ice. Uh, it's a pretty solid microphone, but definitely recommend the pop filter on it. I, I don't know what pop filter that is, it's just like the Amazon thing that was like, you get to order this, and uh, I have good cable management skills, look, look at that. Uh, now these things, these are handcrafted glass things that I got on the island of Seva in the Lord Islands when I was on, actually it was this summer, we sailed from the BBI to the Lord Islands overnight, most fun thing I've done, overnight, 17 hour sail, we did it in. Covered like a, over 100 nautical miles, just purely on sail, upwind, which is, if you know anything about sailing, you do not want to sail upwind for 100 miles. Back here, uh, you can see that my, my monitor is being held up by like a P.O. box thing. So, yeah. Um, here is my monitor. No, oh, well, th there's the, there's the Minecraft Education Edition sticker thing. Uh, you can see here, this is my monitor stand. This holds everything, even though it like... You can't really see it in the camera as well, but this thing fucking bends hard. Which is why I have this iPhone case just supporting my monitor. Keeps it straight. Uh, you can see my expert cable management, cable, cable management skills here. Um, this is my way of stuffing things in a box for, first of all, to hold this up, and also to make it so I don't have to see them. Come back here. This network switch here is the gigabit switch that just everything runs on it. I have the blue cable goes directly to my router, which I'll show in a minute. The red goes to the storage server. This goes to my laptop. Green goes to the router over there for my room. And then black goes to my desktop over there. Everything's done by Gigabit LAN. This thing here is just a really small UPS. It doesn't cover my main computer, but it covers my storage server. Because I have a lot of things in there and I don't want these drives fucking breaking themselves, which they have in the past when they just lose power, so it's a little thing, gives me enough time to shut the computer down. Whatever, yay! Alright, so this is my whole network, local to outside world system thing. Uh, first of all, starting with our modem, I don't know, it's just like the modem that our ISP gave us, and ISPs give decent modems, except for their fucking routers. This thing was a piece of shit. Like, this this couldn't, this hand hold it like, this held like 20, 20 devices maybe? Not good. So I ended up getting this, the Nike Air X6 uh, Nighthawk neck gear. Uh, it just looks really cool, even though we don't use any of the actual Wi-Fi, and the Wi-Fi antennas don't even need to be out, because it's literally just a fucking router for our other things. This goes to the modem. Now this goes to our 10 gigabit network hub, because, I don't know, we just got one for 10 gigabits, I think. Yeah, so these go to the access points, actually. These go to the access points. This goes to my mom's room, my mom's office for her phone. This goes to my room for my internet. Then, then this last cable here is for our Rokus zone director because like, we have like five access points. We need, we need one of these things so that we can make all the access points work together. All right, just for like bragging purposes and doing a speed test real quick. You can see a lot of MS and oh wow. Wow, I'm getting quite a bit over. So we get 200 down here. Uh, I find that I can get 205, sometimes even 210 down. Which is absolutely insane for, this is coaxial things. This isn't even fiber. And now in the upload, the, the upload's kind of shit compared to the download, but yay, I get 35 up roughly 
I can get 40 on a good day, but my neighbors are home, so I don't actually get 40. But I get 37, which is what we pay for. That's good.